For the cheapest Madden coins available, check out my sponsor, One Stop Mutt, to start building that God Squad you've always wanted today. Use code WAZ to get 15% off your order. What is going on, everyone? Wizard of Waz here with another Madden 21 video. So tomorrow, the full game drops unlimited if you pre-order Deluxe or MVP Edition. So today, I thought we would go over the best gold fantasy packs to grab. Now, a lot of YouTubers have already made videos on this. Y'all may have seen them already, but we're going to go over the prices. A lot of people that released their videos released it the day before uh, EA Access actually started, so we didn't know prices of cards at the time, and prices have fluctuated until then. So I wanted to go back and read visit the best gold fantasy packs to open based off of their current prices obviously these prices can change at any time so definitely go and check these before you start ripping your packs if you are just trying to build a theme team then obviously you're going to be open a lot of that team's packs but even if you are let's say you're building a giant steam team there's not a ton of elite players in the giants gold fantasy packs so yeah you might build a good like basis of your giants team but if you actually go and open some of these other gold fantasy packs that we talk about you might get more coins more value and then you can build up your coins a little bit so that when more giants players are released you can go pick up some more so it just kind of depends on whether you want to be risky or just build that base of your uh, theme team but if you're not building the theme team and you're just trying to build the best overall squad then we're going to go over the best value the ones that you might be able to get the best elites out of and all that good stuff so just as a quick little refresh before we get into the actual packs just what you're going to get for for your pre-order bonuses uh, if you just pre-ordered the basic edition obviously this is going to be coming out on the 24th i believe this video and on the 25th you will not be able to play if you just pre-order the standard edition you'll be able to play on the 20th 28th. That's one of the bonuses you got from pre-ordering either Deluxe or MVP as you can play full-time on the 25th. But if you did pre-order the standard, you will get just five of the Mutt Gold Team Fantasy Packs and then a choice of one of 32 Elite Players. And then for the Deluxe Edition, you are going to get 12 of the Gold Fantasy Packs and then again one of the Elite Players. And then for the MVP Edition, you are going to get 17 of the Mutt Gold Fantasy Packs, one of the 32 Elite, and then the Lamar Jackson is the big one. But just a quick refresher there if you forgot what you were going to be getting from your pre-order bonuses. But let's go ahead and jump into which of these packs, if you pre-ordered MVP, you're about to get 17 of these tomorrow, which ones are going to be the best value for you to open? Now, to determine what the best bang for your buck is, is going to be in those packs, you want to obviously see which cards are the most value. So, if you just go to Mutthead here, which is what we're on, if you just go to Price Descending, so you get the highest price cards first, and then Coralite. The Coralites are going to be the cards that you can pull out of these packs. The Gold Fantasy Packs, actually, I should ex explain, you're not necessarily going to get a lead out of there, but you do have a chance of getting a lead out of there. So, obviously, you are trying to pull as many elites as possible and that's the goal but if you just look here the most expensive elites we got Tyreek Hill, Aaron Donald, Khalil Matt, Pat Mahomes we can already see a little thing here with two of the Kansas City Chiefs in the top four in prices right now George Kittle, Gilmore, Bobby Wags, Christian McCaffrey, Lamar Jackson, Michael Thomas so these are all the most expensive cards that you can get from these gold elite packs so using this as a basis for the video the first one this is going to be the one that pretty much everyone is ripping it makes sense because it has the most expensive cards and some of the best cards in the game is the Kansas City Chiefs. Now, a lot of people are just going to open only Kansas City Chiefs pack. There are 10 elites on the Kansas City Chiefs, so that's a lot of different cards that you could pull. Obviously, the big one here is Tyreek Hill, and then Patrick Mahomes is not far behind. You get one of the best tackles in the game, and then Travis Kelsey is one of the best tight ends in the game as well. So the Kansas City Chiefs is probably going to be the number one most open fantasy pack if EA does release stats on this, which they probably won't. But if they did, I, I would warrant that Kansas City Chiefs will probably get like 40 to 50% of the pack open because there are such good value cards on here there's just a lot of good players so kansas city chiefs probably the best one to open if you're just going for bang for your buck the next one on the list is of course going to be the baltimore ravens and that is because they don't have any of the best top guys lamar jackson is the most expensive with justin tucker as the best kicker uh Calais campbell is one of the best defensive ends but you can see they have 17 different elites so if you're just looking for just straight value not necessarily just the big boom guys like tyree kill pat mahomes you do have a couple of them up here uh but you have a lot of chances at elite with the Ravens so the Ravens have a ton of good cards a lot of good players uh, for me personally I am planning at some point on building a Ravens theme team maybe down the line but I am a Ravens fan as y'all know so I will probably be opening a couple of these these are very very good value a lot of good chances of getting an elite so definitely open up a couple of the Ravens packs at number three here I'm gonna go with the New Orleans Saints and they have 13 different elites so again a high number of elites and you can see they have obviously Michael Thomas is one of the more expensive cards in the game and a lot of 86s and 85 so they have a lot of high and elites as well one of the best tackles in the game actually two of the best tackles in the game and then a good defensive end 
they have Drew Brees at quarterback, which again, guys, even if you don't necessarily want like Drew Brees, if you have Lamar Jackson already and you can get him powered up to 87, if you pre-order the MVP, he's still going to be a very valuable card to sell. He's almost 36,000 coins, so still a good value card. So you're not always just looking for cards that you want specifically in these packs, but cards that have good value, or at least give the packs give you a good chance of getting cards of good value. And the Saints are definitely one of those. So two more for y'all. The next one is going to be the Dallas Cowboys with one of the best guards in the game, which like I do recommend in some of my other videos, I would not spend any money on offensive linemen. So honestly, if I did pull Zach Martin, I would sell him because an 88 overall right guard is not that much better than an 81, 82 right now, in my opinion. So take your coins, but that is neither here nor there. That is not what this video is about. You do get Ezekiel Elliott, who is one of the more popular running backs, one of the better running backs in the NFL. Mari Cooper is a very good wide receiver. And another one down here that's kind of a little bit of a sleeper is Jalen Smith. So again, if you play the rivals challenges, you have a chance of getting the 85 overall Jalen Smith at middle linebacker. And if you get this 81 overall and his power up you can power him up for pretty cheap if you happen to pull this 81 so if you do pick jalen smith from those rivals challenges this could be a very good pack for you to open to try and get that 81 he's not super valuable at 16,000. this is just more of a uh, good thing to have if you do happen to pull him because then you don't have to go buy it off the auction house and then the final one here should not really be a surprise to anyone. These are honestly the top five. There might be a couple that you could argue in here, but these are pretty much the best ones. Uh, you can maybe throw the Rams in there because of Aaron Donald, but you get George Kittle here, who is by far the best tight end in the game, and his price does reflect that at 155000 There is a massive drop-off after that, but Richard Sherman is still a very good uh, 86 overall cornerback. Use check at fullback, which again, this is one of those positions where I don't know how much people are going to want to use it this year. A lot of people, if you play I-form a lot and you need that fullback to do some blocking, you check is one of the best in the biz and he's pretty good out of the backfield as well and then another little uh gem down here that's an only an 81 overall is actually raheem mostert you can see he's only an 81 overall but he's actually more expensive than their kicker who is an 83 and that is because his speed so the 49ers have a lot of good fast guys on their team kind of like the chiefs do so this is a very very good one the 49ers will be one of the top picked ones obviously the chiefs and the 49ers played in the super bowl so it makes sense that they are two of the best fantasy gold packs to choose from so those are my picks for the fantasy gold packs the ones that will get you the best bang for your buck the ones that will help you out on uh, building your squad building your coin set whatever it is again if you are building a theme team obviously you want to throw in a couple of whichever team you're building to try and get some of those elites but some of these other ones have such good potential value i would definitely consider opening them over your theme team if your theme team is not one of these guys just because they do have a potential at such higher value anyway guys if you did enjoy that video taking a look at the prices and some of the cards that you could potentially get leave a like on the video and subscribe if you are not already got a lot more madden 21 videos coming out for y'all soon as the game will be releasing fully we'll be doing a another no money spent squad episode once i get all these packs we can open them and build the squad up a little bit better but as always guys thank y'all so much for watching and i'll see y'all in the next one